Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is me, Johnny, of the Super Gaming Brothers, and a very merry Christmas <laughs> to you Absolutely guys. Absolutely, merry Christmas, John. This oh, is the opaque senator merry Christmas Russ. To you too, Russ. <laughs> I appreciate it. And ladies and gentlemen, Russ, once again, earlier uh, this year, around October, no, November, I think, uh, we showed you Panzer Dragoon, both of them. And, you know, Russ was not exactly done with us because, you know, we did, uh, Russ did Nights into Dreams, Russ did Nights Journey of Dreams last year. There's Indeed. still one part of Nights lore we have yet to show off, and we figured no better time to do it than now with Christmas Nights, only this winter. <laughs> yeah, only this winter indeed. One of the very few, maybe if only, Christmas games. I mean, I, I'd have to look that one up, but I mean... There's the Grinch with PS1. Yeah. But that's it. That's... You want to count Nightmare Before Christmas? It was well, a game on the PS2. I, I consider that more of a Halloween movie. Yeah. Like, I, I have traditionally, and I have already this year and again, kept up that tradition of watching uh, Nightmare for Christmas on Halloween. It's just a fantastic movie to watch on Halloween. For a while, I did it both Halloween and Christmas. Yeah. But it, it really isn't a Christmas movie. No. <laughs> There's Christmas themes, but that's about it. Uh, Russ, what's going on in Christmas night? Well, I don't know, because it's in Japanese, so... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when I when I looked up the story, because obviously I don't know Japanese uh, outside of Kono Dioda and Konnichiwa, um, the uh, <laughs> Arigato. Huh? Arigato. Oh, Mr. Roboto. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, Russ, no. <laughs> so basically, from what I understand of the story, the kid Elliot and Clarice, who are back from Nights into Dreams, um, have come down to the town here. They realize the star at the top of the Christmas tree is missing. Um, and they both go back to their respective homes and uh, have a dream about it. And of course, welcome back, nights. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, spoiler warning: Is it Riala in, in Grinch attire? <laughs> uh, if only. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, the thing about this game, though, it actually really isn't a full release game. This is actually a demo. This came out with a magazine subscription was the main way of actually getting this game. Uh, I did not have that magazine subscription. No. We're uh, talking about 96, 97. Yeah, right here. I, I, I did not have that stuff. I didn't really read like that kind of thing. Yeah. So, um... Yep, 1636 on 1225. <laughs> 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 oh, man. But we have reasoning for that as we'll go along. Into this. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Christmas Nights into Dreams. Yeah. Only this winter. <laughs> Only this one. Now, this is not... A, Russ has the Japanese for... Why, why do you have the Japanese? Um, I actually was looking for it on eBay, and um, that I didn't know... It doesn't tell you on eBay whether what version you're getting. Yeah. Um... So I just picked it up. I had an action replay. Actually, the only way you could play this on an American Saturn, uh, there is a cartridge you can put in the back called an action replay, and it lets you play yeah. Japanese games. Um, but this game is also available in English. It's just that Russ bought the Japanese version too. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So it's well, I don't have the I don't have the English version. Yeah, I probably no. should pick that up at some point. But I mean, it's really not yeah. that big. Different of a deal. cover. That's about it. I think the same sort of case. But yeah, it's available in both English and Japanese. Just Russ has a Japanese version, but we got around it thanks to the action replay cartridge. I have on the yes. back of the Saturn. So you'll notice here on the main screen here, Christmas tree and Christmas presents and options. Options is always there. If this game actually has different themes based on the year and even the time of day yeah. uh, that's going on. Now it's Christmas. Everything is Christmas themed. Christmas tree and Christmas presents. Yeah. If you do this at any other time of the year, really, uh, outside of October through just January, it'll say. Um, uh, yeah, if you play at any time during the year, it changes into Knights Limited Edition. Good emphasizing the demo qualities of it. Exactly. Uh, if you start playing it in November, you can you can adjust all this to the system clock, by the way. Yes. Uh, if you start playing in November through January, you are playing in winter mode, which is pretty much this. What you're looking at now. Yeah. Very colorful, beautiful, Christmas themes, everything. Like, even the the idea captures are have the Christmas trees on top of them. Yeah, and Knights is rocking that wonderful tracksuit. Yes, the, the red tracksuit. I mean, Santa suit. Yeah. Um, it feels like he's wearing nothing at all. Yes, Jingle Bells playing in the background. Um, and you actually grab Jingle Bells. Good old Sleep. Check out Sleep there doing his thing. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty cool demo, and uh, we're gonna show off a lot of the stuff about the demo. There's, it's not just the game. Like the demo thing is, there's actually only one level. We do Clarice's um, Spring Valley level, not. Um, the uh, splash garden from that Elliot has. When we play Elliot, he also plays through this um, 
Spring Valley level. Yeah. Um, but it's actually it's it's the same level, just different pathways. Like yeah. they, they make it slightly different. It's slightly different. That's actually exclusive to this demo. Yes, you can't actually do this in anything else. So, yeah. <laughs> so there's some him. quality. There's some merits to this demo besides, uh, you know, the Christmas themes and yes. all the little Easter eggs and shit that we'll be showing off for this LP yes. only this winter. Only this winter. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm gonna just get my score because I don't want to get. I'm, I'm gonna try to ace this. <laughs> uh, besides that, besides the Christmas thematics, aesthetics. Uh, it is still the very same Nights into Dreams gameplay. Oh yeah, the uh, the same old plane. I mean, if you guys do recall a couple years ago when I did the original Nights into Dreams, this is exactly um, Clarice's Spring Valley level. Yeah. I mean, this is exactly how it started. Um, same themes, everything. It's just right now because we're doing it this time of year. It is Christmas snowing. It's, honestly, I love the color, the color palette. I love the aesthetics. Um, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, I it's mean, very cheerful. It puts me in the mood for fruity pebbles. Yes, perfect to enjoy the cup of hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah, double do delicious fruit. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Probably a B though, because I just kind of probably lollygagging a little bit. That oh, was an A. Hey, you still got an A. I'll take it. I'll take my and grade. Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs> <laughs> Only this winter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I think so anyway. Unless you believe those bullshit Christmas in July rumors. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I can't even think about July. I mean, this Christmas season has been absolutely crazy. I work retail, ladies and gentlemen, so it's... <laughs> work retail, more accurately, Macy's. Yes, Macy's and, uh, retail. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I worked seasonal at Macy's at one point in my life, and, you know... It was good for an experience. In fact, I kind of liked Macy's around that time because I like the Christmas themes. You get the, the, the big ass tree lit up and shit like that. Well, the one around me anyway, because I, I work at the one in Center City. Yeah, I, I live in Pittsburgh, so yeah. <laughs> I don't. We I don't have know. the Christmas tree. We have the Christmas yeah. bush. <laughs> it's just been. A, it, it's a. It's a very. Uh, the store I work at is very busy and big. Uh, I'm a manager out there, so it's. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of fun, but uh, I managed to get away for this little bit of an LP. Uh, it's not a long game, again, it being a demo, so... Yeah, the two levels of the same thing. Uh, yeah. Well, not so much with LA's case, as we got into earlier, but yeah, it's just Spring Valley and a boss fight. Yes. Um, uh, but rest, rest assured, though, there are some things that we can show off for this demo, yes, we will be showing them off. Yes, we are going to show you everything, whether you want to see it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle down, boys and girls. Uh, we, just a little bit of, of a heads up. John and I actually went through and played... For a while ahead of time on a, on those other save files. Well, actually, you played for yeah. yeah. Because in order to unlock all the little like museum shit that we'll be showing off, you gotta play Spring Valley for a while. A lot. Five, I mean, five, well, how, we spent you spent about like two hours. Yeah, so. we're playing the level over yeah. and over. Yeah, but we we, we and worked over. together though, folks. You know, we, we teamwork, motherfuckers. <laughs> we're able to. John kept me sane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the small loop, the arrow, the V fall. The dumbass. The fantastic <laughs> The T Rex. Yeah. <laughs> well, what the? Where's that at? Hmm. Something tickle your Christmas fancy? There it is. What the hell is that? Never noticed that before. Huh. There it is. Ah. Huh. So the little yellow things make a little guy follow you around, as you can see, the Christmas themed guy. Um, the green things give you. I, I couldn't remember what they did when I did the original LP. Um, I still don't know what the red one does. The green one gives you a full um, charge meter, which again is a bottom left meter that you see. Um, Let's see, what else? Uh, get the dang idiot real quick. I don't want to get too far behind. There we go. 20. Again, just like the other game, you get need 20 blue chips. Not lums. Blue chips. Yeah, blue uh, chips. <laughs> <laughs> lums are in Rayman, but I always called them uh, lums in the previous LPs. Going up. Scorpion. Oh, no, I hit the wall. No, oh, I hit the wall. Oh, I no, the wonderful four. It's just the wonderful four. No, actually, I would have liked for Christmas themes like the tricks be named after like the 12 nights of Christmas. Yeah, that days of Christmas, like five should be five golden rings. That would, that'd be cool. Yeah. If you get, because I don't think you can really get beyond like eight anyway. Yeah. It'd be cool if you can get up to twelve. So, already, pretty much. Uh, there's the red one. I have no idea what the red one does. <laughs> I think I don't to this know day, I still don't know what the red one does. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what the subscribers are for, Russ. Yes. Someone point out my idiocy. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yes. Isn't that what the internet's for? <laughs> oh, absolutely. That's. I mean, I've, I've been guilty of it a number of times, so I can't really say too much. Yeah, we're all guilty of it. Yeah. Don't worry. So, uh, yeah, I mean, not a whole lot else to say about the level itself. Um, you will see Santa Claus going around in the background at times. Um, 
that's only during Christmas. Different times of night too, like if you're d during the day and night, like you'll see different like things in the background. Uh, sometimes you'll see stars, you'll, you'll see comets. You'll, I mean, it's it's amazing. Yeah. I'm sure it, John can pull out the list and just. Yeah, kinda... I can pull out the list. It, um, it's not just a matter of what time of the year you play, but also what time of the day you play. Yeah, it affects the background that you see now for Spring Valley. Uh, I, let me see if I can pull up that list. I should have had this available immediately. But uh, let me see here, because Rustle has a bit to go before we're done here for uh, this one scenario, because we also got to play the level as... Uh... Did you play as Clarice or Elliot first? Uh, I, did, I did Clarice's first, because it's the one we've already seen. Yeah. So, uh, outside of the, it being Christmas themed. So I finally learned the Gill Wing one-hit kill, how to do it. I'm going to see if I can actually do it this time. Okay. Need some serious time? Let's see if I can get him. But that was the Christmas theme for Gill Wing. So you got to get to the edge of the tail, and then you paraloop. Only you actually hit the okay. tail. It's hard to do. Okay, I, I had it. Yeah. And my millions. I can attest for Russ. He did get it a quite a number of times, but now he's recording himself. Uh, of course. And of course, the recording curse spreads far. I am going to just do this regular. You gonna do it normally? Yeah, because okay. I have another just, shot. <laughs> just, just, just try it again for when you do the second scenario. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I'm kind of. You can do it. I've seen him do it. I did it. What? Thirty times. Thirty times. <laughs> 30 times out, yesterday. How to do, yeah. Once once Russ finally looked at it, someone else knew it. He was able to do it. You're know, like, oh, is that all I gotta do? Yeah, it was. I, I'd always heard about it. I, I watched a YouTube video on it once, and I, I, yeah. I didn't really pay that much attention to it. I'm like, I'll get that one day. Your and childhood I just... is indeed a lie, Russ. <laughs> Only this winter. Only this winter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here are the time changes. Yes. Uh, during the holiday season, the snow can change depending on what time you play. At 3 a.m., you get a lunar eclipse. 6 a.m., you get northern lights. 7 a.m., you get a bright sun. 9 a.m., you get crescent moons. 12 noon, you get rainbows, clouds, and confetti. <laughs> and confetti. And confetti. The confetti's only this winter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 3 p.m., you get candy. I'm not sure which one. Circus peanuts, probably. 6 p.m., you get strange stars. That's how, that's how they classify it. Strange stars. 9 p.m., you get bright stars. And 12 a.m., you get hearts. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, indeed. See for Christmas. See for Christmas, yes. See, it's all intentional here. Yeah, I kind of I kind of screwed that up because of the uh, I didn't get the one hit kill. My other scores were really inflated because I get the bosses and yeah. Because uh, you save so much time with doing the one hit kill shit. Yes. All right, Ross, explain this. So now we're doing a different save file, a new save file for this, but uh, you have to match up. It's basically a matching game, um, and this is how you unlock all the bonus content, all the extra artwork, including a very special level we'll show you at the end. But basically, you try to match things up. Fail. And this is where me and Russ teamed up, because, ladies and gentlemen, there are three tiers of the matching game. Uh, once you finish this one up, you get another panel, you get another selection of panels to match, and that's bigger than this one. And then the third tier one, which is the most, the biggest one of all, has, like, I don't know, like, 32 squares to match. Yeah, it's, shit. it's ridiculous. There's three, yeah, yeah three tiers, the and they get big, there's more and more squares. Also, littered within the tiers... Um, there are Riala boxes, which end your tries. Yeah. The, big, the number in the bottom that you saw there was how many shots you had at it. Yes. Um, declares first. Yes, do Elliot's next. Um, it's it's tedious. I mean, you gotta get, bring pen and paper, write down. That's how we did it. Cause yeah, me and Russ took some pen and paper down. We wrote the son of a bitch. Teamwork. Yes, Only teamwork. this winter. Only this winter. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It, Same theme song. The things you can and unlock we'll be showing off later down. Uh, especially one, one particular thing is really special that you can unlock. Yes. Uh, well, you just gotta have to wait and see what it is. Oh, or you yes. can stop the video and look it up yourself. Absolutely. You Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'm surprised I don't like because again, this this subscription based demo that you get from a magazine is really is really just one big giant advertisement for the full game on the Saturn. Yeah. Uh, but you know, a part of me inside kind of wishes they play up the Christmas theme just a little more with the boss fights, like, the, the you know, the, it's not wise man, it's just Scrooge. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Although, the uh, the Christmas going, and I love that theme, I know it's hard to hear again on the Let's Plays, the music, yeah. and I'm really big stickler for music in games. It kind of makes games just that much more playable, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of games that I think are good games, but the musical tracks, I can't get into them, so I, I won't play them <laughs> as much. Um, it's, it really is important. Um, those of you who haven't played uh, Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed, I love, love the track state, the track themes in that, and um, they're all taken out of a lot of Sega games, especially some Sega games that I grew up with. Um, 
including, uh, as you, if you saw my earlier in the year Let's Play of Panzer Dragoon, um, and its sequel, uh, <laughs> um, Panzer Dragoon 2-2, uh, <laughs> it is a, um, it, it really does make a big difference, and you'll, in a game like that, you kind of hear it, and my, and I mean, everyone has different tastes, but that, that that's just mine. Knights is a game, I've always enjoyed the soundtrack to it. Yeah, um, well, like, well, again, like we mentioned, we mentioned this in probably the original Knights LP and in Journey of Dreams, like, Russ is a rare breed. Where he actually grew up with the Saturn. Yeah. And now, you know, kids usually had the PlayStation or an N64. Russ was the odd child in the bunch. I he did. I did eventually get the N64 later on yeah. into my middle school years. But uh, I grew up with the Saturn, and it was. Uh, I, I've, I mean, that's why you see me do a lot of these Sega LPs, or these Saturn LPs. Yeah, Saturn LPs would be more specific. It's. Uh, a lot of these games, and I mean, there, I, I, and anytime I do see John, I do plan on trying to bring something to you guys every time, as long as he'll have me, yeah. <laughs> and, and he's willing to sit through them. As long as the restraining order doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't renew itself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't want any of that. But that the restraining order, though, it's only this winter. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh man! No one has no idea what the fuck. No, nope, they will. <laughs> John, we have too much fun. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to do that yet. As you can see, the uh, the blue chips actually become ornaments in the tree. Oh, that's pretty. Cool. I didn't notice that until now. Yep. The gauges are now Christmas gifts. Um, kind of anticlimactic. It's always the same fucking thing. Yeah, but if you go in there and get that first try every time, you won't even—you'll never notice that. Like. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, there's a lot of other cool things. Um, Really fun surprise on April Fool's Day, which is, again, a really odd one, but maybe, maybe we'll show it off. Yeah, I think we probably have some time to show it off. Yeah, we'll show uh, it off. If you're playing this uh, outside of Christmas, you know, again, it becomes Knight's Limited Edition, where Spring Valley looks just like the Spring Valley in the full game, and you get different background music. Uh, if you're playing this on Winter Mode, it becomes Jingle Bells. Yeah, this, and then the, uh, same with the the Gilwing theme. That There's the Christmas one you see play during this holiday time, and then it becomes the regular Gilwing theme when you're... Uh, in uh, the regular modes, yeah. or the regular times of years. I mean, Christmas really is an irregular time of year. I don't mind saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people people aren't nearly as mean as they are as they are at Christmas time. <laughs> no, I like this. You know, it, it, it's actually one of the reasons why I love Christmas so much. It's not because I don't want to go into that whole commercialism and I, I you know, debate and something like that. What's the true meaning of Christmas? Yeah. It's just that it just seems to be a given law that everyone becomes a little more cheery. It's year. Everyone to a gets in a Unless you work in retail. Unless you work in retail, yes, obviously. No, but even then, I don't get like that because when I used to work in retail, specifically Wawa, I loved working Christmas. Why? Because it was, it was, you were ransacked all day, it was busy all day, the time went by fast, and you get like time and a half. That's you true. Get, you get a really big fucking paycheck. Merry Christmas to me indeed. You know, but you know, it just seems like a, you know, a general law. People become a little more, people become less of an asshole during that time of the year. If not, that than at least on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day to those that celebrate it anyway. Speaking of which, where's my Happy Hanukkah nights? I know what the hell. You know, or you know, why are we being uh, what's the word uh, against Hanukkah here? And there are very Hitler. Why are we being very Hitler right here? No, <laughs> no, no. no. Uh, you know, we know we, we need a Hanukkah nights. What would Hanukkah nights do? Um, light candles. Light candles. We, we they, see, they can do the claws. The claws yeah. uh, fight. When you, when you and, do tricks, you know, Wonderful Five, uh, Eight Crazy Nights. Exactly. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, a Kwanzaa. God forbid we talk about Kwanzaa. Nobody talks about Kwanzaa anymore. I can't believe there's no Halloween nights. Yeah. <laughs> a, a dream raider, if you will. <laughs> How perfect would that be, John? Halloween nights. Halloween nights. Uh, I feel like we're missing something here. I'm not sure what, though. <laughs> something's up with nights. Something's up with nights. <laughs> uh, Third, third loop done. Nights in Elm Street. <laughs> Nights in Elm Street. <laughs> oh, man. So, yep, last pass through. No, I want those. Get over here. There, yeah. <laughs> well, there is a trick called Scorpion. Yes, there is a trick called Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, um... I do hope you guys, you guys at home, I mean, first off, Merry Christmas. I know I kind of said that earlier as like a, a, just an intro, but I do hope you all have a fantastic Christmas. All you young kids, hope you get what you're looking for. Yeah. Um, Santa is in this game, so just kind of... Happy <laughs> smashing of the brothers to you all. Exactly. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what everyone's getting this Christmas is a Wii U with Smash Brothers. Oh, absolutely. Well, I, I, am not, I did not get my Wii U for Christmas, but um, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, let's go this way. <laughs> 
I do have it on 3DS. I did get that back, and I even had that when I visited you in, uh, what was it, November? It was uh, uh, early October. Early October? Yeah, yeah. I, I, it all runs together. <laughs> <laughs> After a while, you know. Like, after a while, I'm kind of reading it. Maybe I'm reading way too deep into this, but in a sense, we're, we're kind of the Grinch ourselves, because you know our goal is to collect ornaments. We're stealing ornaments from the Christmas village, and exactly. then we go to the tree and nuke it. <laughs> <laughs> nuke the tree, damn it! Nuke the tree. <laughs> what did Christmas ever do for you guys? Yeah, so we're, we're destroying wreaths by you know flying through them. Exactly. Yeah, for us, I think we are reading into this, man. <laughs> yeah, we are. Well, we always talked about Knights in the original LP as a Dream Raider. Yeah. <laughs> he takes the control of the minds Which of small children. Which is like the, the, the child-friendly version of Dream Warriors by Dokken. <laughs> Inception. <laughs> right now, it's a dream within a dream. <laughs> oh, I right, better get to the end of this. All right. Maybe. <laughs> but then we shit on the, the Christmas birthday cake. All right. God damn it. <laughs> Take I'm... that, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, me, Tree Mania Christmas, it's all about, you know, birthday cakes. Yeah, and, birthday and cakes. <laughs> uh, destroying Santa's snake. All right. Gil Wing is going one-hit kill. All right, let's... You can do it, Russ. Is this, it starts blue. Huh? Was that like that before? Uh, that blue star at the end of the tail? Kind of reminds me of Unagi. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, one more time. Uh, right. I will get this. You will You will do it. I'm I'm, I'm just going to get it. At the very least, yeah. We, yeah, this is a general principle. You can show it all. Ooh, look at the peppermint. I like the right here. Uh, little. I you know, go fly, flying a little further. A little further. Uh, uh, you, uh, you, you, you done dashed. I'm going to get this. Yeah, just uh, at least for the very sake of just showing it off. There, there you go. go. Oh my god. That's how you one hit kill Gil Wing. Now you can you can paraloop any part of the tail. If you get like you can get a whole chunk in the middle, but the end where that star was, that's what the important part is. Yeah. Um. If you parallel that, it's a one-hit kill. Typically, I was able to do this in a little better fashion. It's if just, you can of course, do it's for that, the LP. If you can, yeah, of course. If you can do that in the, your first parallel, then it's pretty much a guaranteed A. Yes, yeah. it's Because uh, it gives you a 1.9 multiplier on your score. Yeah. So it almost doubles your score just from the, from doing that. So, but with that, we saved Christmas. We did indeed, John. Saved Christmas. We, we didn't have to worry about saving Hanukkah because it already happened. We're Christmas heroes, John. Christmas heroes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Christmas nights. But only this winter. Yeah, only this <laughs> But only this winter. But I like that. Christmas nights. Nights with a K at the very beginning because we, we sound badass. Yes, I agree. You so, know. they're speaking Japanese. What do you think they're saying, John? It's uh, yeah, that was that was an interesting acid trip. <laughs> Something about a star. But, you know, in, in essence, you know, Chris and, uh, no, Clarice and Elliot. Now, what kind of drugs is Elliot taking that he looks like that? <laughs> he's, he's, he's slowing down. He's like the anti-speed. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> You know, you rescue the Christmas star for the tree. Yeah. And then you know, Clarice and Elliot meet up in the city. He slips on, I don't know, banana peel? Um, ice? We're going to go. Ice? I'm going to go with he slips on, on uh, I don't know. I don't really know <laughs> nights, what hopes, and dreams. Nights, <laughs> nights, hopes, and dreams. Yeah, for for a game after the Wii. And, uh, he, uh, you know, Maybe he slipped on the ice before this. Yeah. And he had this night's hallucination. Uh, a concussion. Knights, he was weak enough that Knights could take him over again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it looks like he ran right into Clarice doing that. I do like the little silent night. Oh. Hey, by the way, they are speaking. Uh, I don't know what they're saying, because again, it's the Japanese release. There's no subtitles. Yeah. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you can look up the English version of this. And a Merry Christmas to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely, absolutely. We're not done yet, but... No, we're not done yet, but this <laughs> but is that the is end the of, end of the this game. This is the end of the Christmas Nights <laughs> part, yeah. The Christmas Nights, this is the end of the game. Um, and that's a nice little little nod. Clary's knit and head, puts her head in. Although she is, like, junior high school, so it's kind of like, really? So we shall end things with a a cappella version of the Nights theme, sung by uh, Not Boys to Men. And also really off-key. Yeah, really. And that first note. Oh. <laughs> We'll see you guys with the bonus content. Absolutely. In a dream I could see You are not far away Any time, any place I can see your face You're that special one That I've been waiting for And I hope you're looking for 
Oh. 